Hello, my name is Natalia and I created a project called Rocking the Potty Cure, which aims to help you all to get unstuck and to make the progress you're looking for in order to be able to cut your dog nails, your dog's nails. So I had managed to collect some questions during a project and i will now with this videos reply to those questions so let's see if i can manage to pass on to the question itself which is somebody asked getting the right position and holding on long enough before she pulls her paw away so the first thing I would ask is, what is the position you actually try to cut the dog's nails? I would also ask which tools you're using because position and tools is what I believe uh, to be uh, a very decisive factor in having success and going in the right direction. So if your dog pulls the paw away, I see two main reasons. Um, or you haven't um, taught the dog to allow handling, so you're going too fast, you're being impatient, um, and also you might be um, using a position like many people ask their dogs to hand, hand their paw in their hands, and, um, and dogs have... Um, a reflex that if their paw is being extended they want to pull it away so it's just like us so um, the position we do the dog's nails in um, can contribute actually to this behavior of pulling the paw away so if you have this problem finding the right position and your dog pulling the paw away I invite you to um, share with me what position you try to do that. You can do a video or something like that. Um, and then share that with me. And maybe I can reply in more detail how to overcome that situation. The other question is how to shorten long nails. The only way of shorten long nails and probably long quicks is to always and frequently get as close as possible to the quick. So mainly you need to use, in my opinion, a safe tool, which in, in I always suggest people, once they want to get really close to the quick, use manual nail files because they're just so freaking safe. You can like if you, if you if you go slow and carefully you cannot cause your dog to bleed if you use a manual hand file a nail file so the only way to really shorten i mean you can shorten long nails in one session a lot if you if you um cut in small slices and get as close as possible to the quick but then if you want to shorten get to the quick to recede you still need to do the nails often which might be every two to three to four days in order to get them actually to become shorter that's like the only way i know and doing this safely is as i said the best way for me is to use a manual nail file or if you are pretty skilled you can use your dremel uh, if you know where to take off the nail so you need to be able to read the nail and see how far you can go and you also need to accept that it probably needs to be done every couple of days okay okay so that was my replies to those two questions. I know these kind of questions always lead to more questions. So if you have any more questions or want to share anything else, leave a comment. 
you can go to uh, the website and send me a message. Um, you can also send a message to Facebook because we do have a Facebook page and um, you can also drop me a message if you see this on Facebook through my personal profile. Um, anyway, I guess you managed to get in contact with me. I really want to know and I really want to help you. So thank you for watching and see you soon.